Hello, my name is Michelle Odenma, and this month we'll be talking about Black history. National Black History Month is a time where Americans stop and reflect on the achievements and the role that African Americans have played in our country. Many people think that America is the only country that sets aside a month of reflection for black history, but also Canada and the United Kingdom set aside time to reflect on the progress of African Americans. For the next four Sabbaths, we'll be highlighting what black history means to many members of our congregation. Our goal is to celebrate the achievements of African Americans in this great nation, but also to deepen our understanding and our perceptions about the value of diversity. This week, we'll be speaking with our very own Pastor Ariel Roldan, and he'll be sharing with us his perspective on black history. Welcome, Pastor Roldan. We're glad to have you, um, you. on the program for this segment, uh, speaking on black history. Um, and we're just gonna ask you one question. Um, in your opinion, where do you see the United States at in this point in history um, in terms of um, its past um, and its future and also us being as members of a diverse society mm -hmm. and also the yes. Seventh-day Adventist, Seventh Adventist Christians, um, how do we play into black history? Great question, Michelle. Um, well, I think first of all, we can just see the fact that we have just inaugurated a African-American uh, president for the second time uh, into office. I think that speaks um, quite a bit as to where we are as far as a country what our comfort level is. I think is our, our society is completely open to having an authority figure of a different ethnicity than it has been since the foundation of our country. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is a very positive um, achievement, one that uh, I think the upcoming generations, which I am so glad that our, even us as a church are trying to highlight this, right. that the upcoming generations, number one, don't forget or remain maybe uninformed of what it had caused to have an African-American pastor in office. It did not occur in a vacuum. Um, if if uh, we trace the history, we know that it has caused a lot of tear shed and literally bloodshed right. to have what we have today. Mm. And I think our, our uh, upcoming generations, they need to be reminded in a positive way, which is I'm glad that this is a celebration of where we are, but not a celebration that we are where we ought to be. Right. There's still much more to go um, as far as the society is concerned. My hopes is that the upcoming generations will take the time and that we will make available the resources so that they will see what it has cost for not just African Americans, right. but for all ethnic, eth ethnic minorities to have received these benefits. Um, as a church, well, uh, I am a Hispanic pastor, <laughs> pastoring a, an English speaking church right. that is composed of about 34 different uh, ethnic groups. Mm. Um, I think that also begin, is beginning to uh, demonstrate where our country is going. Right. Where the decades ago, the homogenous, only one ethnic group type congregations is no longer the case across right. the board. The first generations of um, Filipinos or Chinese, um, their children, they may be the second or third generation that only speak English. Right. They're probably congregating in more English speaking churches. That is certainly what happens with the Hispanic culture, the first generation seeks a Hispanic congregation, but then second, third, for sure, is more at home with English. Mm. So our congregation, I think, is quite progressive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I think our, our leaders are beginning, hopefully our, our leaders are beginning to, to realize that that is where our church is going to be moving in North America. We, mm. We're going to be becoming a very uh, diverse group, and I am sure that they are praying hard and uh, praying for visions on how to adjust our church structure to facilitate the integration of various ethnic groups right. and not keep them separate. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much for your input and your opinion. Um, that's Thank very you for much having me here. Yes. Muchas gracias. <laughs> I'll learn, you know, how to respond one day. <laughs> you will. <laughs> bien or? Muy bien. Yes. Yeah, okay.